Oh. <laughs> okay, so now um, a point is made up of what? Yeah, but what is an ordered pair made up of? What and what? X and Y. Yes, what is it again, Cameron? X and Y. X and Y. X and Y. Just points for X and Y. So each point has an X and a Y. Bruno, you with me? Each point has an X and a Y. So we have this X2, X1, Y2, Y1. What in the world is all that? The twos and ones stand for point one or point two. So when we do this, we're going to assign a point one and a point two. It doesn't matter which one you pick. But for now, we'll call this point one and this point two. Now before we plug into the formula, let's just assign values to y2, y1, x2, and x1. Okay. So what is the y value on point two? Four. Does everybody see that? Yeah. What is the y value in point two? Four. Four. Everybody see that? Yes. Yeah. This is point two, and it goes x, x, y. Okay. So what is y1? Three, three. No. Two. 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 What is the y value in point one? Two. 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 What is the x value in point two? Three. three. What is the x value in point one? Yeah. Any questions there? Okay. So what does the subscript number mean? What's the difference between y2 and y1? Which point? Okay. And you just have to make sure that you take, you can't take the y value, you can't call this y2 and call this x1, right? If you call this y2, this has to be? x2. Right, okay, so it has to be the same. That's why I will go ahead and write up above one, two. All right, so now we're gonna fill this information into the formula. You don't have to do this step every time, but I just wanna do that to make sure you understand how to assign. So y2 would be what again? Four. Four. Four minus y1? Two. Over x2? Three. Minus, what is x1? Negative, negative 2. Negative 2. Notice that it's minus so it's in the formula, plus. so it's minus negative 2. Okay? Watch out for those. So it's going to be minus because it's in the formula, and if it's negative 2, I still write the negative. Okay, so how would I simplify this? 4 minus 2 is? 3 minus negative 2 is? 5. Y. Because minus a negative, negative. negative is the same as plus, right? And 3 plus 2 would be 5. So the slope would be 2 fifths. And by the way, in the formula, it's going to say m equals, and m represents slope. Okay?